Njagala kudda mwe bigambo omuwere zombi ayogera wano. I want to re-echo the words that one of the ministers said here. Tiaburuganda omulabirizi yatunula bulunje okusobola okutuwa doctor. Ngo mukulembeze wafu. That the late bishop saw so well to give us doctor as our next leader. Tayakoma oyagamba doctor atusobola bane doctor atusobola. He also said that doctor can handle us and indeed he can. Mugiremwe muimirire kubigere. Stand on your feet. Twanirize kitafe. And we welcome our father. In this inner man ministry. We welcome you so much, doctor. Jesus. Amina. Mkama tumongere ngaliza amanyi. Jakate tuimbe yoru imba. Nga sinayugiri vikambu itono. I want to sing a song before we start. I mukama wange wendo za kuye wato na no mukono wo. Oh, 
someone considerable the works thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear rolling thunder, thy path Sings my soul, it sings my soul, oh my Savior God to me. Oh, how great the how great the Then sings my soul, my soul, oh my Savior God to me. Oh, how great the One more time, then sings my soul. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to me. Oh, how great Thou art! How great Thou art! Then sings my soul. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you with thanksgiving for the gift of life. We thank you, Lord, who has enabled us to fellowship even in this year, during this annual conference, we thank you for the grace that has sustained us, for the journey that you have walked, even at the time when the bishop went back home, we thank you for sustaining us. This evening, we welcome you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that you come together. We surrender this session before you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I request you to get seated in the presence of the Father. I want to take this opportunity to thank God the one that has given us an opportunity to be alive during this conference of this year. It's not obvious automatic that since we are there in, during 2020 in the conference, we should also be existing in 2021. So we thank him for the grace. Amen. Amen. I also take this opportunity to thank God for the team of pastors that I co-work with. Pastor team. The pastor team of this place if it was not because of this team we would not move forward and the Lord has used it to make sure that we continue this work is a work of team and we do work together as a team it would have been such a difficulty. However much, however powerful Joshua would be to ensure, to ensure that things move forward when he's alone. When you see me moving forward, you know that this is the power of the team. I thank God for you. I also thank God for Bishop. Because he gathered us together to work together as a team. 
I was seated there and I recalled. He so much loved to work through teams. He so much loved to work through teams. He so much loved to work through teams. He so much loved to work and perhaps that's the reason as to why we are still working together as a team. And also to remind you that this conference has started at the times back by him. With the entire team. And I thank God that during this year's conference, we are going to have pastors from different branches that we have been with. Though they are in the different branches, they will come and be with part of us. Inside of me, it delights me. I know such is going to give us more power to walk ahead for a longer period of time. Praise the Lord. Because of the teamwork. Amen. Amen. I also want to thank the entire church the one that is physical here and that is the one following us online. thank you for believing in us others would say perhaps for me I loved the bishop but because he's not there I will not go but when we see you we are encouraged and we believe that we are moving forward because of the grace of God Amen I want to thank God for my wife Sarah Sarah Though she, will, she may not come here, but just waves to the church, it's enough. She has done me wood in this journey. In this journey with her, um, had another role. More than that that was existing before. She has done me well. When you see me putting on a suit, then you know. At the back end, she organizes everything to ensure that I'm alive. Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you for standing with me. I very much want to appreciate the Holy Spirit. For the glorious work. For the glorious work he has done in my life. He knows my weakness. He knows things that have hit me. But he has been there to help me. And he has been there to help us as a church. We are still united. Because of his power. Amen. Amen. A big hand clap to him. Praise the Lord. Words may appear to be few, but it's power. May the Lord be glorified. Um, my leaders gave me a theme to speak about the Holy Spirit and the inner man. Praise the Lord. And uh, when I woke up this morning, a couple of things went in my heart. How I pray the Holy Spirit will help me to talk about Him. As we talk about this very important subject. First of all, we are talking about a renewed inner man. And I bless the Lord for all the preachers so far that we have heard. Now, 
It is very hard to have a renewed inner man without the help of the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. It's because many things outside will come against us like that verse in 2 Corinthians 4.16 says. We are surrounded by very many things that will make our inner man worried. I placed the Lord yesterday, Pastor Nelson Luzinda used a very good analogy that blessed me. When he talked about the spirit, soul, and the body. And, and, and the inner man is the composition of the spirit and the soul. So as he put that analogy, I felt like my preaching today will be easier. Because when the Holy Spirit comes, he joins this the spirit. I, and the inner man becomes stronger. And when the spirit of God is leading, you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. When the spirit is alone, small s, it can be weak. But spirit plus Holy Spirit, you become much stronger. And you can now not gratify the desires of the flesh. Praise the Lord. Uh, I'll just read this very common verse. It's the first verse in my notes. It is in 2 Corinthians 13, 14. And we recite it so many times. It says, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. It is in 2 Corinthians 13, 14. And what I want to pick is the communion with the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. You know, communion actually implies constant fellowship. And actually I would say this sentence that constant fellowship with the Holy Spirit is essential for our spiritual well-being. And for, for, for our spiritual well-being, for our inner man well-being. Praise the Lord. Our inner man needs the word of God, but our inner man needs the Holy Spirit. We need actually both. Sometimes the word alone the word alone kills. No more. So it requires the word and the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Then that's when the inner man will be alive. If a Christian has fellowship with the Holy Spirit, has a different life. He has the word and then has the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Now, where the challenge is, is to maintain or keep 
the fellowship with the Holy Banga Spirit. Because most of us we are given the Holy Spirit. But walking with Him walking with him in fellowship with we him were banja. that's where the date is Edene. that's where the big date is praise the Lord we are at different layers or different levels when it comes to that issue. in accordance to the way people open up to the Holy Spirit there are those that know that is good in prayer. The truth is, is good in prayer. One writer, one author said, is the president of intercessor. And resident intercessor. And he sits in us, but also leads in everything that pertains to intercession. When it pertains to intercession, he comes and helps you and then groans and makes you to pray a prayer that you cannot manage to And all the intercessors say, and as a church, all of us, we need him in that perspective. Because there are times when the inner man wants to pray and has no energy to pray. But when the Holy Spirit comes and adds himself to you, at times I wake up to pray, but at there are times when I wake up when I'm still dozing. And yet it's the one that has woken me up. I just obey and then start slowly by slowly. And then you see the one who thought he would pray for five minutes he goes to ten, thirty, and then it makes an hour. Because he came and added himself to you. And he has access to the heaven files. The one that is in the heart of the father he sees what is in the heart of the father and brings them to you to help you and pray is there anybody who came to this conference and has weakened in, in, in the perspective of prayer I pray that he comes in that line and then helps you amen amen but the Holy Spirit does not only know prayer alone. He knows everything. He is all-knowing. That means that you can open up yourself. And even you welcome him in your finances. He knows things pertaining to finances, things to do with works. It depends on how you work with him. At times there are friends that you cannot be open to everything. And yet there are friends that you can even tell that really I don't have what to eat today. In another way, you can even open up yourself with issues pertaining finances to the Holy Spirit. But because sometimes our relationship with him is dead, the day he spoke about your finances that is on your account. And then you silenced him in that area. And then you told him, at least in this line of prayer, come. But when it comes to finances, please don't talk. And there is that song that we normally sing and say, speak to me, Holy Spirit, speak to me. And then he sing all the answers. But because in that area you didn't open up yourself, because you cut off or you killed that relationship. When they were um, passing around the pledge cards for us to construct our church, and inside me, he spoke about a figure that I should commit. 
I immediately asked for the pledge card and I had to write it. Because I know what it means. I don't want the opportunity to pass by me each time it avails itself. Because he manages everything and he manages all my resources. Praise the Lord. The first case that I want to present before you. Is to have that self-discipline, self-training of obeying the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. It's in Hebrews chapter 3. Verse uh, 7. Maybe we will start from there. As we talk about the Holy Spirit and the inner man. Hebrews 3, 7. And we can read up to 12. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ngabangeza Nevalaba ebikolwa byange Emiyaka ana Chena vanyengire Nyingire mire mbejo Nenjo geranti Bacha maguli jomi tima jawe Tebate gira makubo gange Ngabwe na laira Mubusungu wange Tebali yingira Mchu umulo change Amen the Bible says, Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith today, if ye hear his voice, saith today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the day of provocation and in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. So, as you start relating with the Spirit of God, the Spirit and your inner man, he will start revealing and bringing suggestions. Actually, he doesn't lead by force. He brings a suggestion. You feel it. Today you would have fasted. It, it enters into you and you understand it clearly. And then you start to add around and say, Lord, perhaps I will, I will fast next week. He does not urge with you. At first it comes with that power. By the time we throw it into your inner man, if you object it and postpone it, it becomes, it starts to shrink down and weak. And then it keeps silent. And yet you heard it. And you came to understand that that's what the Lord requires of me. Either you postponed it. Because most of the people who have come into this conference have heard him and have continued to hear him. But they continued to fail to implement what he instructed them. The challenge is that each time you fail to do what he has told you to do, do and you don't do it, he starts to cut off himself from you. And then his openness to you. And then you reach a point where you become dry inside of you. And the reason for your dryness is because of the disobedience to the Holy Spirit. Even from wherever you came from to come to church. And then you find that there is a, such a great flow of the Holy of the grace. Your heart can be dry like a stone. One of the things that blocks 
the inner wells is disobedience. Disobedience to the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Example, One time I entered through in a chapel. And then I sat behind. Actually, I sent Francis Chapel. It was St. Francis Chapel some years ago. evening service. It was an evening service. Um, Bali is a gospel artist home. They had called a gospel artist. Just as we welcomed them in this place. And then his session came. And then stood up to minister to us. After ministering to us. To me, I felt like he had sung well. Just as, as the prompter by them came. And then the prompter commanded us to raise up our hands to bless the minister of the Lord. Inside of me, my eyes, my inner eyes were my inner ears were open as I was raising up my, my hand and then the spirit spoke to me and then said I will not bless him it perturbed me a lot and then to me I was like he has ministered well to us why is it that the Holy Spirit does not want to bless him private no gonna or public no, hearing is private, but again, obeying is, is public. Perhaps the Holy Spirit had ordered him to sing a different song and then he ended up presenting another. There are things sometimes that challenges me. Hearing and obeying the Holy Spirit. You may come and preach such a great sermon and people, all people clap. But when you are in the private, the Holy Spirit gave you different things. In that you are not connected at all. The battle is there. In hearing and obeying. There are so many that have become dry along the journey. Because they heard but did not implement it. And as I speak, I know there are many who are recalling those small instructions that the Holy Spirit has been bringing. Even though I speak about this principle will be enough. Hallelujah. Amen. Because I have made so many mistakes in it. But I've seen God helping me in my weakness. And the fact that I've discovered. What I've discovered. What I've discovered. The more you become obedient to the things that he has put into your heart, there is continuity of his fellowship with you. At times it is just a song like the one we have just sung. At times you hear another person singing in you. And then when you sing it, you see that there are open doors that, um, that are open before you. And then you enter where you would not enter on your own. As the preachers, we need the Holy Spirit. As the worshippers, we need the Holy Spirit. And as a flock, we need the Holy Spirit. The inner man requires and wants the Holy Spirit. Why is that every day there is that fellowship with the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. Amen. Let me add on something small. I wrote several scriptures, but I may not speak all of them too. 
When you continue to see fellowship with the Holy Spirit, Pastor Jude told us that there is evident of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And one of the fruit that follows is the peace of God in our inner man. Praise the Lord. I will speak like a doctor of the inner hearts. That, that the inner man that is peaceful, one of the signs is to have the peace of God. Praise the Lord. Because the word says in 2 Corinthians 3.17 Now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. That God is the spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is peace. The moment peace leaves your inner man. Check yourself. It's a very important sign for fellowship with the spirit of God. You could be conversing. Maybe you are conversing into another kind of conversation. If you see that your peace is being deprived of, check yourself. Perhaps what you are conversing is not connected at all. Inside of you, you can always hear it that perhaps I would not have spoken this. And sometimes you just strive to know that. And then you lay it before the, you. The sign to show that your, your, your inner man is not stable. First of all, is the peace to be off from you. Then you will know that he has left. He is no longer in the driver's seat. Um, uh, yesterday, Pastor Luzinda showed us. At times, the spirit and the soul is pushed or pulled by, by the body. And when the flesh is the one that is reigning, when peace goes, then you know that the Holy Spirit is no longer there. And in your inner man, you no longer operate with that help. And times the decisions that we make, and then your soul has a different kind of things. At times that's where the origin of the words that we speak and then we regret. And yet where the conversation started from, you would have read the signs of the Spirit. Where the peace started to go. Where he was separating from the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Is there anybody who can start to, to see how to monitor your inner man? Because if the Holy Spirit is there and is the one in lead, the peace of God they must be in of, inside of you. I pray to the Lord that gives the grace that even today that you will return the peace in our inner man. What that means that the Holy Spirit will return and sit on the throne of our hearts. 
and times when he's coming back he may come with a suggestion a suggestion and at times the suggestion is for you to go and apologize before the people the people that you had trouble with you feel that inward conviction so that you reconcile with people that you had trouble with. It could be between the marriages. And yet, perhaps there was a, a case that came that made you to go astray. And then the Holy Spirit is looking for evidence through which he can restore peace. And yet, peace has not yet been restored. And it requires humility to apologize or to, to the people that perhaps troubled you. The works of the Holy Spirit, I cannot know all of them. But I've passed through them, some of them. You feel it is heavy. To look for somebody who actually troubled you and you say, please forgive me. But the day you decide that I'm going to do it, and then you start on it, the moment you initiate it, the peace of the Holy Spirit is restored. Though some of you came to the inner man conference, the date is there for you to make sure that you put things in a way with your brothers. Perhaps you spoke about it long time ago, but you have been postponing it. But the word has said that today, if you listen and hearken to his word, do not um, hearken. Do not disobey. Obey what the Spirit has placed on your heart. And then it will cause peace in you. In your inner man. And surprisingly when that peace is restored. It will also come back to your home. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Yes, you are going to get a Jesus spoke one word. The theme requires a full week, but let me pick a few things. In John chapter 4, in John chapter 4, one time Jesus met, met the Samaritan woman. This morning I read a statement that Jesus said, to save time, we will only just look at verse 14. I know that story is very familiar to many of us. But in the conversation that they had, maybe from verse 13, Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up unto everlasting life. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, if you just flip over to John 7.38 Jesus said, He that believeth on me, 
as the scripture has said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water and verse 39 said but this spake he of the spirit which they that believe on him should receive for the Holy Ghost was not yet given because that Jesus was not yet glorified and he is talking about the Holy Spirit and the inner man. In verse 4 of 14, 14 of verse 4, it's the very Jesus who said, But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. Yes. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm tempted to think that as you start fellowshipping with the Spirit of God, there are fountains that will start coming out of your inner man. And this fountain should be able to flow. And other people can be blessed. And why is that happening? Because your inner man has fellowship with the Spirit of God. In other words, when we accept Jesus, He will let His Spirit operate in us. That even our words should be with life. Hallelujah. Amen. And I like the revelation of that song, whoever composed it. If I can put small words before we wind up. If your inner man has fellowship with the Holy Ghost, there should be streams of living water coming out of you. And this living, like this spring, should be able to set other people free. And the Bible says rivers, not one river. Hallelujah. Amen. How I long that the Lord will take every one of us to another level of fellowship with the Spirit of God. Because when that happens, out of us will flow springs of living water that should be able to set even other people free who are bound. Hallelujah. Amen. How we need it as worshippers. Because when those springs are flowing, they will be life in our worship. How we need it as preachers. Because when it happens, we will be giving life because of the fellowship with the spirit of God but the believers need it as well this world is filled with a lot of pain 
They are looking out for people who would have life in them to change the situation. How I pray the Holy Spirit will work on our inner man that our words will have life that even our actions will have life because our actions will be filled with the fruit of the spirit I don't know the chemistry in there what happens when the spirit of God comes in fellowship with the inner man? Definitely his impact will be felt. Because at times you want to come louder. And then inside of you, there is a voice that tells you, don't speak. No, Tayogera. And then you don't speak. Where there would have been such a great battle. Because you are in fellowship with the Holy Spirit. No, And then you don't utter that word. There is a mystery in a life that has fellowship with the Holy Spirit. In our inner man. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. As we wind up, the greatest challenge that we have is to is to end when the Holy Spirit has finished. There is a session, a time in the scripture. I think it's in the book of Numbers. There was a time when the children of Israel would stay when the cloud was stand still. When it walks, though you have washed your clothes you get them off and then move let us keep in step with the spirit there is a scripture that says in Tsigalenga there are times when the Holy Spirit is done and for you, you don't know that he has finished. You start to drive a dry thing. Praise the Lord. There have also fallen several times. At times when I'm done with the preaching and then goes back home and then says, there is a moment where you are supposed to end. Because there are times when you watch for a moment and you have several songs and you are enjoying and yet is telling you that please I'm, I'm done. It takes training. For each of us to learn and start to follow inside our inner man the instructions of the Holy Spirit. However few they are, if it has come out of his mouth, there, there is no small instruction that comes from the Holy Spirit. Everything has a significance. Have you recalled what the Holy Spirit has ever told you? As we go into the moment of prayer, you are going to ask for the grace so that the, the Lord will restore you back into fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. That's enough. I 
want to encourage you to stand up on your feet for the minutes that are left intentionally I know the Holy Spirit desires to be restored into your inner man so that he takes his leadership. Oh, love. 
Abamokofa baba deba 
kowa aba mukofa baba de beta midwa muri nyali ya yeso kweso kaba 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 ka oto yambo kutani kokolo kote mige jama samalamu oto yambo kolo kote mige jama samalamu oto yambo kusala bya tuli no kusala ebiramu oto sebi gambo bya febere komulamu oto yambo ebikorwa bya febere komulamu ayo moyo wa mukama omo yo mutoko bwo bera wa bera wenja ulo omo yo mutoko bwo tola wa bera wo kubatisiwa omo yo mutoko bwo bera mukwano bwa fesebo enda ba ya febera ya nja ulo ayo moyo mutoko bwo kweka yirira akabunga zikorwa lero bwe wa bera we chobuga ga chobo tuwere satata bwe wa bera we chobuga ga mukwano bwa fesebo omo tuwa we kusa we kola gana ya feno omo yo mutoko bwo kubanga omo yo mutoko bwo ya mumezi omo yo mutoko bwo ya muyambi wa fe omo yo mutoko bwo ya chosebi ya fayo promise keeper we invite you mukwano bwa fa yesebi to be on si sobola kwe yongera yo mumagenda wotali si sobola kwe yongera yo mumagenda wotali ayo omo yo mutoko bwo tokweta ga tokweta ga mu mirimo ya fe tokweta ga mu byemfuna bya fe tokweta ga mu makaga fe tokweta ga mu buweresa tokweta ga nge kanisa tokweta ga nga abasumba tokweta ga nga abaweresa mule vose senja ulo nemulukunga na luno tokweta ga chino cha chobo gaga chatu ya yanira chino cha chobo gaga chenja yanira omo yo mutoko pa bomamira wabera wo kwa urwa wabera wo kwa urwa oya ule chizikisa mu musana muri nyali ya yeso kweso kabaka bakabaka tusabyo batize mete majafe tusabyo toto batize mete majafe tusabyo toto batize mete majafe tuogeranga maria mu boya yogera na gamba leka chimbeko leka chimbeko tata cho watesa kulwa mwe yo motokovo munkola kana yange na ye mukusa chimuna ye tata leka chimbeko chino chenja yanira tata chino chetu ya yanira na kawungezi kulwa lero tata china ya wula conference na mukama ngakwe mwe no se ayo moyo motokovo omo yo motokovo bera kabonero kobona mu bafe omo yo motokovo bera kabonero munda mufe ebigambo bya febere ebigambo bivajoli ebiro wozo bya febi wanyi Sibwe bibere biro wose bibajole mukama tukwega irinde mukwano kwafe owo lukana bubabera wocho ya ya ni na chechi ne chama chino chechi ame chanywe saba tusoka wo chino chechi ame chanywe saba tume chino chechi ame chanywe saba libatinde mukamo rwe bintu ebize bintu etolola wali wo bintu setutia wali wo bintu setutia na yaka wongeze ko rwalero Mwabanga ba petera abatya mukama mwe bakunganira mu kisenga cha wakulu na baba tisibwa wali wo mukumo mulala tata tusaba tata tusaba echiro chorwa lero tusaba akawungeze ko rwa lero tusaba otonye somo yo mutoko bakobola mu mafe otonye somo yo mutoko bonda munze bade chisa saba bade sya yokera yo mukusaba na yo mo yo mutoko bo wera wa bera wo kubonzo mu namu musi yo kusaba mukwano twange tukwanirisa tukwanirisa yo tuka buye kalu yindo tukwanirisa tuna buye kalu za fa mukama kama 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 kayinze bintu byona bo wa bera wo musaja no mukazi wo yamba yo ye ye wa na yo ngaga mbanja kala nkola kana mbya no mo yo mutoko bo tuletse Oh muliro tubatize oh muliro tubatize Yesu no yakana muluka 12 na mumwenda tuwajo konezo muliro oh moyo mutukufu oyakarwa ko muliro oyakarwa ko mpaje yo muliro obero muliro ko muna mwafe obero muliro munda munze obero muliro muna mwe musajoyo obero muna muliro muna mwe mukazoyo Omo yo mutoko vye bwa kwa twetaka Omo yo mutoko vye bwa kwa twetaka Baibe yo gada ne gamba Omo yo mutoko vwa bwa waka Ne wabera wo kwamba zibwa manya malala Yesu no yo gada no gamba na yete mukungana temuvwa wo Okutusanga mwamba zidwa 
Mwuri ambazi wa amanya gomo yo mtu kufu Haka ungezi koru walero tu ambazi Haka ungezi koru walero yambazo musajo yo mukama Yambazo mukazo yo munange Habada wede mamanya go kusaba Yambazo musajo yo munange Yambazo mwano yo sebo Habada wede mamanya go kusome vya wandikibwa Habada talaba jalaka Emi tuma kwenga kwa kakanyala Ama soke nga tachalaba Tata yinze vitu vyo na Chino chene sabida Chene sabida baganda bange Chene sabida banyina ze Otu ambazo moyo mtokofo Oku vano luare romo nange Ne ya moku tambula nawe Ne ya moku gondere vila kiro vyo Ne ya mebe vyo na vyo na yoke ranga jendi Muna nge njimiri do kwe ya ma Kwe ka hiri de sebo Otu ule munda munzo nkule mbere May you take the leadership Standing on holy ground For the Lord is here And where he is is holy This is holy ground We are standing tonight For the Lord is here And where he is His home Come on, stand up and let's sing together before we finish This is holy ground We're standing on holy ground For the Lord is here and where
This place is a great place we are standing in. There are going to be wells and springs of wells of worship that will come up out of this place to go to the world. Wagenda kubera we mika ejoku sinza eminene jigendo kufa mchipochino. Would like to pray by that. That we pray that the springs of worship will come out of this place to go to the world. Come on, lift those hands and pray by those words. Father, we thank you for the grace that is with us. Father, we thank you for the grace that dragged us into this valley. We came with our weakness. And then you did your work in us. Father, we open our souls before you. And Lord, we ask of those streams of worship to be ignited from this place. The Holy Spirit, what it takes, we ask of it from you. We come before you that the, the streams of living waters flows from us. That the streams of worship will flow out of this house. May you help us, Holy Spirit, that we bath everything that we are supposed to bath. In our days, I know that this house is a house of prayer. And I ask of the streams of prayer to flow from this house. The Holy Spirit that takes leadership in prayer and intercession. I pray that you stir up the, the streams of prayer from us. And we confess this before you and that we declare your goodness and also your grace to manifest from this valley of determination Father we ask before you that you will enlarge the boundaries of this state that you enlarge us spiritually that even you enlarge us spiritually just as you spoke to you Joshua that everywhere where you will step you have given that everywhere we will step you have given us Father we will welcome your presence today in this valley the valley of determination Father let your decision be manifested Father, we bring 2022 before you. We want to go where you want us we to go. We want to follow you, Holy Spirit. May you help us as pastors. And the entire flock, sir. We welcome your wisdom. Holy Spirit. One, it is we call upon your leadership. One, it is we will calm your decision. We May you come and dwell in our lives. We come and dwell in our finances. We come and reign in our inner man. We come and reign in our journey. We open our souls before you. As you promise to come before 
before this conference ends. In Jesus' name. Avida. Amen. And so it's to let go of the world.